Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're gonna talk about some easy, simple tips on how to give ourselves a little bit of self-love to improve our relationships and feelings about ourselves. I'm Risa Morimoto, your host, and you're watching Modern Aging, where we chat about innovative and holistic ways to care for one another as we age. Make sure you click on that little red button down below and that little bell so you'll always be notified when new episodes are uploaded. Please check out our website at thisismodernaging.com and you can also sign up onto our email list there. With our constantly busy, crazy lives, we find less and less time for ourselves until we're absolutely depleted. You know what I'm talking about? Our to-do lists seem longer and longer and the things that bring us joy seem to get shorter and shorter. Today, business and life coach Susan Rosenthal shares some helpful tips of giving ourselves a little bit of love and its importance to your overall well-being. Check it out. Today we want to talk about how we can practice self-love during the holiday season. I think we all neglect ourselves way too much um, during the years to, that, to, the, to the point where we're like at zero by the holiday season. So I'm wondering if you have any suggestions and thoughts about how simple ways that we can give ourselves a little bit of the love that we need. We said that's a really good question. And it is something that affects a lot of people because as we move through the year, we work very hard and at the year end, it's very common to feel depleted is that we're trying to make our year end goals and accomplish things. And then we're thinking about how to make the holidays work for all the people around us. And so we get depleted. And what I suggest to people is to not forget yourself during the holidays. We have a habit of putting ourselves last. We're thinking about all the gifts to buy for everybody and the food that we're going to have and, and, and all the activities, and we lose track of ourselves. So what I do is tell people that it's, there's nothing wrong with being selfish, that selfish isn't a bad word. It doesn't mean that you're hurting other people, but what it means is that you're putting yourself at the center of your life. And an example of that would be to put on your favorite clothes, play your favorite music, buy yourself your favorite foods, use your favorite dishes, and do the things that really fill you up, that make you feel joyful and, and complete and your best self. Because and other people benefit, right? Exactly. The more that you do to fill yourself up, the more joy and love that you feel, and it spills over on everybody else. You know how they say in the airlines that when there's an oxygen mass that comes down, you have to feed yourself first before other people? It's the same thing, is that when we are filled up, when we're coming from a place of fullness rather than lacking, when we're full, there's so much more that we can share for other people. So don't forget yourself during the holidays. Make it a great holiday for yourself and fill yourself with that love and joy and gratitude everybody else will benefit in spades. What do you say to people who just say, I don't have time. I don't have time to do my hair. I don't have time to do my makeup or whatever. We never have all the time that we want to have, but there's always small things that you can do. Again, you know, you can wear your favorite uh, scent. You can put on favorite clothes, put on music in the background. There are all these things you can do that are just little touches that elevate yourself. Whatever brings you joy, put those little touches in. And again, there's nothing wrong with also taking time out for you. It's important to take time out for you so that you actually feel rested and you feel some calm. I mean, you don't want to rush through the holiday season stressed out. At the end of it, feel like you need a vacation. So the way to do that is do little things along the way. Just insert little things that make you feel good about yourself. What would you say are some of the benefits of self-love, right? We're, we're talking about how it starts to overflow and, you know, your kids or your parents or, you know, your siblings or whatever um, kind of reap the benefits when you, when you give yourself some love. Yes. Well, what I've seen and, I, and I've experienced myself is that when I really feel self-love, I am so happy that whatever circumstance that I'm in, I bring that happiness to the circumstance. So other things don't take me off center in the same way. I don't feel that same kind of reaction. And people feel that. They feel that energy you know, that we all have around ourselves. So it spills over. And the happier that I feel about myself, the more people actually want to be around me. It's almost like magnetic. Um, so it's up to me to put myself into that state 
And some of the things that I do is I will write out gratitudes. What am I most grateful for today? What are some of the wonderful things that are going on in my life? What do I have to look forward to that I'm really excited about? And then what are some of the little gifts I can give myself during the day? It's not any big challenge to put on some music or to buy uh, some flowers or even have one of my favorite foods. All of those things really lift me up. And then from that place, then I think, well, I'd like to do this for other people. So then I start thinking about how can I do little things for other people? One of my favorite things to do is the whole idea of pay it forward, is that I'm at the grocery store and I'll buy somebody else's groceries. Well, I need to stand behind you in line. Yeah. (laughs) I just love doing it. And I, I love doing it anonymously. So people don't really even know. Just the idea that I've done something for other people puts me in a great mood for a day or two. Although that's true. I love giving homeless people money in New York, you know, or whatever it may be. If you see somebody with a baby carriage, you give them a hand. There are definitely ways, you know, I mean, we're yes. getting off topic a little bit, but that is, in a way, makes by helping them, it makes me feel good. Yes. So just yesterday, I was inside a, a retail establishment, and a woman came in just behind me, and she stopped me, and she said, do you realize, do you know that you are a 10-star person? Do you know how special you are and how fantastic you are? And just... She just kept going with compliments. I had never seen this person before. And it really kind of took me by surprise. But I really enjoyed it. And I I just received it as such a gift that she gave me. And um, I shared with her some of the things I really appreciated about her. And we both left feeling uplifted. It didn't cost anything. It didn't cause us to take time out of our day. It just happened spontaneously. Those kinds of things, those little acts of kindness go a very long way. That's awesome. So as we enter into the holidays, I think this is actually great takeaways so that we can give ourselves a little bit of love um, and then also some love to other people as well. Yes, it's the little things that count most. 